From Virginia, Mr. Klein, for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today to express my unwavering support for the United States' greatest ally in the Middle East and the region's only democracy, Israel. When I visited the region, I saw firsthand the proximity of the danger Israelis face on a daily basis. With the Gaza Strip controlled by the Iranian-funded terror group Hamas, rockets are always pointing at the Jewish state, and it's estimated that the militant group has more than 30,000 rockets and mortars at their disposal. And for the past week, Israel and its people have been bombarded by more than 3,000 rockets launched from within Gaza. Thank goodness for the Iron Dome, which despite being overwhelmed, saved countless lives. While some on the other side of the aisle and in the media attempt to draw a moral parallel between Hamas and Israel, there is simply no comparison to be made. As Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said, you cannot equate a democracy that values life with a terror organization that glorifies death. Israel has an absolute right to defend itself, and while they make every effort to keep Palestinian civilians from harm, Hamas continues to intentionally target population centers, seeking death and destruction. Hamas is not interested in peace, they are not interested in working toward a lasting solution. Their only objective is to eliminate the Jewish state. Why some would choose to back Hamas despite its atrocious human rights record is beyond me. Why back a regime that stifles free speech, prosecutes and assaults the press, treats women as second-class citizens, and has laws on the books that condemn its own citizens to death simply for selling land to a Jewish person? Madam Speaker, it's mind-boggling. I stand with Israel, and in doing so, I stand for peace.